Oh no, my phone's all the way over there. Whatever shall I do? Just go get it. That's what I'm doing. How do I sound? Hello? Hello? Alright, sounds good. Okay. So, <clears throat> because it was a rainy day today, my, uh... My, uh, the theme park I worked at closed for today. So, I have a free day! Hooray! And I wanted to start this game at some point, and I wanted to play a few other games before I got back into another visual novel. Which is just like, I mean, like, these games are, like, less like visual novels, but they're still visual novels, and... Anyway, so... I mean, I'm, I'm not sure about this game, though. This game might be... There. Alright, I'll get the link out. Hunto NG. Alright. So this is the second game in the Spirit Hunter franchise. And I think in Japan it's just called they were just called like Deathmark and NG. Or Ng. Playing Ng, Spirit Hunter Ng. But in America, I decided to put on the the name Spirit Hunter. I don't know what this game's about, but I am very excited to play. Uh, I'm waiting for Sony in the chat. Sony's been wanting to watch me play this, so. God, one month until fucking Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm very excited.
I guess we should start. I'm sorry? Choosing the scary effects mode. For abrupt scares, you can choose the level you want them at three different modes. Off will significantly die down the extra scary effects compared to default. Scary effects during events are unaffected. You will still be able to see any effects if they affect the story. Scary mode will increase the extra scary effects compared to default. If the system is saved after a mode selected, the system will affect all save data. What the fuck? I mean, I guess... So they're asking me, like, are you a pussy? Do you want to be a pussy? Please, tell us if you want to be a pussy. And I, I ain't about to back down. Default. Well, let's just set the default. Uh, let's go another round. <clears throat> Whoa there, sir. Just take one step at a time. More if my ears is work, and now they want me to tackle the Y2K bug too? Who wouldn't drink at a time like this? Alright, only one more stop, okay? It's a it's busy day and night in front of Kasuji Station. The sun's gone down already, and the main street's full of bright neon signs. Once you step into the back alley, it's a different story. It's murky dark there, full of trash and puke. The main street may be fired up with energy, but the heat here is downright suffocating. Makes sense that a man who'd want, want to drown his troubles in drink. Dumb thoughts like that go, go through my mind as I make my way down that same disgusting path. It's been a week since my last summer break as a high school student started. I don't go. I don't got. I don't got much in the way of entertainment, so I figured I may as well waste my evening here. Guess it's about time. Better start heading back. As I make my way over to the main street again, please stop. I can hear a voice coming from the front of the station. I'm not really interested. I'm really interested. Ayo, ayo! I chose default for scary mode thing. I'm, I'm in kind of a hurry. She's kind of cute. I like her hat. And hey, short hair. Interesting, like there's like a tiny bit of a change in the art style a bit. Maybe, eh, whatever. So. Come on, don't say that. <laughs> Who the fuck is this bozo? Fucking gourd ass, head looking ass. Just two seconds, I think we both get something out of this. So I have to hear Matt, what do you say? And I said I'm not interested. Shady looking guy being right persistent with this girl in, in strange getup. He's that get trying to recruit outside a police station. Either that, or he's an idiot. But it doesn't look like the cop sees him. Guess he's too busy dealing with a drunk. Hold up, wait, are you thinking I'm suspicious? Dude. No, 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 you got me picked wrong. I might not, I'm, I might not look it, but I'm a gentleman with cute girls. Jeez, would you just listen to me? He's only got yourself to blame. It's for working out at night and something eye-catching like that. Oh, what should I do? Oh! The girl looks over and her eyes meet. That's why spreads across her face. Hey, you're Tara, aren't you? I'll have you, I'll have you know, you're late. <laughs> uh huh? We need to hurry, the movie's about to start. Well, hold up, this girl, is she using me as her out? Hey now, just hold on a second. It's hard to find nice ladies such as yourself. I'm not letting you go that easily. You in the hood. I'm sure you understand the situation, yeah? What the fuck? The guy pins me with a glare. I admit, it's pretty practice. He clearly he's clearly run this racket before. You don't want things to get hairy, right? Hey asshole, say something. You're disrespecting the Am Amanome family? Sounds like the strong arm has come out. Damn, he's in the Yakuza. And now she's afraid. But she thought the guy was just a scary manager looking for models or something. Hey, what's the problem, man? Can't got your tongue? Too scared to talk? 
Quit the yapping, Jersey. Huh? <laughs> you think you get away with talking to me like that? You little... Let me see your damn face. Rain's wounding the guy grabs my head and rips it off. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with pretty boy look. Let's fucking knock this Lucius Kalem over here. Do I wanna be... Noctis or cooler Noctis? <laughs> Yeah, this is okay. You satisfied? I level an intense there at him. Good! He glares back, but it's obvious he's shaken. I like the UI for this. Looks like he's not used to being on the receiving end. Ooh, what's that look? You trying to say not ain't cool? Hmm. No, he's cooler with the glass. <laughs> Noctis is not cool. He is so fucking happy when he's about to go fishing. Like, I expect it when I first played... When I first played, um... Final Fantasy XV, I expected Noctis to be like a Sasuke kind of character. But it turned out to be such a fucking goofball. Huh, right, you just expecting the Amanoe family? Guess you're not a dog, you're a parrot. You little prick! Bit of flying, the guy clenches his fist and pulls back. Too slow. Sensing his intent to kill, my body moves on its own. Kill be killed, a reflex ingra ingrained in me to down to my bones. Now, how should I do this? Kick to the legs. So my right leg out, should be kicked to, uh, to the side, knock him off balance. The fact that he's a fucking dork instead of a Sasuke- Yeah, no! That's the good part. I was expecting him to be this lame-ass, trying-to-be-too-cool-ass character, and instead he was a huge fucking dork, and that's what I like about him. That like he crumbles to the concrete. Ow! He curls up on the ground, groaning. Wow. You're so fast, I couldn't see what you were doing at all. Uh, I'm sorry for getting you involved. Thanks so much for saving me. Uh, could you tell me your name? It's not important. Oh, please! I like to at least know the name of the person who saved me. I don't let you leave until you tell me. What's with this girl? She means it. I can see it in her eyes. I can ignore her and go, but she'll probably ignore- follow me and everywhere until she gets it. Yeah, dude, the art style is a bit different. Is this a different, uh... Artist? That'd be a pain in the ass. Fine, I only say it once. My name's... What is his name? Greg's last name. Up to eight letters. The default name is Kijima. Kijima? Kijima sounds good. Kij Kijima's fine. Enter up to... The name is Ak Akira Kijima. I think it might be the same, just evolved. Because if there's one thing I remember about, like... The first game, it's that they their eyes looked a bit different than the ones in this one. Yeah, I care, Kijima. It had been a good couple years since Deathmark. Yeah. Akira Kijima. Wait, Kijima? I don't believe it. Can't be a coincidence. My name is. What's the piece of the square? Someone must have reported the tussles of the station. Looks like cops paying attention. Damn. Sorry, I have to get going. Greg, you have your two, Kijima. Bye! Girl books it to the off side of the station. What to do now? Crisis choice. When the when the protagonist finds himself in trouble, often an important decision needs to be made. At that time, the word security will pull on the screen. Keep a close eye on the counter, as you'll get this game over once security hits zero. My spirit points have become security. I'm sorry to change over time, even if you've already had an established one, you feel me? Yeah, no, I know. Like how writing style changes. 
consider your drops when the time limit expires for a selection or a wrong action is taken. One wrong choice can potentially bring security down to zero. Be quick and think before you decide. Warning, warning, warning. Two cops in front of the station. Pointless fights in a place like this stand out too much. Best thing to do is don't fall in a hurry and get away from here without checking attention. Security. How do you want the cops coming towards me? Fucking run! Good. You get the hell out of here. Yeah, and a ball on the ground, I break into a sprint. I like the music a lot. Hold it! Stop right there! The main voice chases after me. Only one set of footsteps, though. The other must stay back at the scene. As I ran, I kind of the path I was on earlier. Like I keep saying, Earth's gonna go poof soon. Even Nostradamus said so. So why bother working? You get me? Uh, yes, I got it. Just, let's just hurry back. You fucked the first one up twice even though they specifically said just to run? It looks like the drunk pair are still in the alley. This game of tags is getting annoying. Tall concrete wall stands on my right. Maybe about four meters tall. Well, let's do this! I take a deep breath and dash toward the wall. I have myself up and over and land on the other side. I hear the footsteps of the cop of the cops get to a halt. Hey you two there, did you see a kid in black clothes? No, sorry, I haven't seen him. Shit, where the hell did he go? Running footsteps retreat. Sounds like I lost him. No. Cleo. <laughs> crisis choice more like crisis core <laughs> what a waste of time I need to get going loading during an event during events LT11 will allow you to load save data or return to the title screen Savu Sav But yeah, I do have a little something special planned later on. Um, so, a so a long time ago, so like a like a year ago, around the same time, I was doing a full-on Kingdom Hearts marathon kind of a thing, like Casey Alston's doing right now. But I stopped at birth by sleep because I just wanted to play Kingdom Hearts three. Um. So, after this, I'm gonna play- I'm gonna continue playing where I left off on Birth by Sleep. Oh, welcome back. I'm glad you made it, Kira. Sorry I'm late. At least there aren't any customers. <laughs> Just like always, you never get any customers. This is Natsumi Kijima. She owns the place, the Black Rabbit Bar, and writes horror novels. Plus, she's my aunt. My mom, her, sis her sister, died two years ago. She took me in. On paper, she's legally my mother now. Has anything bothered you? You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Very nice aunt character. Usually aunt characters are not exactly the greatest in terms of morality. And she runs a bar too. Yeah, so if you want to stick around when I play that. I want to, I want to, I you know I have 2.8, I have Kingdom Hearts like 2.8 HD ZX Advent, whatever it's called. Final chapter prologue. And... I want to get back to playing it, so and and it will eventually lead up to me wanting to replay Kingdom Hearts 3, and I'll be doing that on stream. Yeah, and that's and also I just want to say I really do like the UI here a lot better. Uh, the music is a lot better, set some really good jazz. Same thing, yeah. If, uh, if it gets too difficult living on your own, you're welcome to stay at your at our house same time. Jesus Christ, you. Yeah, she, this is the kind of woman that you would call like mama. In a, in a bar in Japan. That's what they usually do if you play games like Yakuza or um, Judgment. 
Or, uh, I guess you already know, because they do it in AI the Somnium Files. They call the bartender Mama. Maybe when I feel like it. She's, she's a good person. Only problem is she cares too much. Ugh! God, Mom! Both Ami and I would love it if you came to live with us. Yeah. Big Brother. Oh, Nietzsche. Free the voice comes out from the back. Oh my god! Is even one in Will? Ah. How is Will so far, anyway? Oh my god, this girl's adorable. Oh yeah, I thought you weren't going to make it today. And hey, this kid's Amy. She's not missing his only dollar, so I guess that makes her my little sister now. Hey, Kara, don't you think I've grown up a bit? Grown up? Finished it and you fucking loved it? Interesting. What is it on? I just wanted to measure how tall I am, and it turns out I grew! See? Wasn't I a lot smarter last time you saw me? Come on, look closely. I want to pinch her cheeks. I want to hug her. She's adorable. You don't get any different to me. What? No way! Fish PC and apparently PS4. Jeez, you're so mean. Come on, come along, Amy. It's getting late. It's about time for you to go stay with your big brother. We have an arrangement where I'm supposed to watch Amy until she's done working. It's not exactly a great idea to have a kid hang around a bar at night. But I want to help you out, Mom! I can't when I'm a grown-up, right? Yes, dear. Once you've grown up, I'll be able to sit back and relax. <laughs> okay, Kira, I'll leave Amy to you. I do like the characters more. I don't know why. They're charming. They're, they're charming off the bat. How do I react to that? During some conversations, you'll be asked to select an attitude with which to reply. When the five protagonist expressions appear, select one using the directional buttons and the X button. The attitude chosen will affect how the other person feels toward the protagonist. Here, I'll leave Amy to you. Judging! I'll be nice. <laughs> it's good to see that he's enjoying himself as well. We gotta hear you over to your place, okay? I wanna eat your cooking. I really, really hope it's Hamburg steak. He bounces up excitedly and hangs off my sleeve as we head off. We stopped at the market and went home to up all the ingredients. Does the way my attitude is, does that actually change some of the dialogue? Hanasuke Apartments is barely standing. That's what happened. That happens after 20 years. By the way, it's only $15 in Nintendo Shop and Steam. What is it about again? Third from the left on the second floor. 203 is Home Sweet Home. Hey, Kira. Yeah? We're, fam we're family, right? So why don't you just stay with us at our place? It's fun coming here, but it'd be even more fun if we lived together. I knew it. Hmm? Something in front of your door. Seems like in the dim light, barely, barely lets you see a me black paper on the ground. By the size of it, it's probably a postcard. Maybe it's a letter for you. Shouldn't we pick it up? Grab it. Got it. Here you go. Maybe he has a postcard and hands it to me. Well, that's new. A black postcard. My address is written on the front. Well, more like type. No one scribbled with a pen for this. But it doesn't actually say who it's for. Maybe it's not really for you? Oh, there's something on the back. Once Princess Kaguya returned to the room, she said, Le Bamatz Boulet, what does this mean? Ha <laughs> ha! It was a vision novel where you saw people's wildlife switching around events in their letters to get a better outcome. Interesting. I have to look at that. I might just get it on PS4 so I can stream it, because, I don't know. I'm always afraid the Switch version will just run bad. After, after that whole AI the Somnium files for that fiasco, I don't want to get anything else on Switch. She said, What does this mean? Well, I bet this is a riddle. Do you get it? 
course not. Is that so? Hmm, I wonder what it means. Amy's face is scratched up in frustration. So I guess she's gonna give up on this one. Oh, I think I get it! I was gonna from the tale of the bamboo cutter, right? Mom's told me that story before. It's bamboo cutter, so bamboo and cut. You have to cut out bamboo! If you pull bamboo from Le Bamette's Poulet... Yeah, it's Let's Play! Wow, interesting. Oh, what the... It'll probably still be with you, um, PS4 even though I paid $2,500 them. I also got the OSC download code. Oh, nice. Yes, um... I, I got the I got the deluxe edition of Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I'm gonna be getting the OST with that. So once you make plans to play, do you think one of your friends sent it? If they knew me, it's easy just to just write my name. It's a dumb prank anyway. No point in thinking about it so hard. A breeze! Second I dismiss the car, a strong gust of wind blows through the hallway. It's hard to believe it's summer with a breeze that cold. Uh, so I have to that? Yeah, did you play the demo? Go off guard, a shiver. I think my whole body just turned into goosebumps. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. Come on, let's get inside. Okay! I'm back! This is a really good soundtrack. Start preparing dinner as soon as we step inside the apartment. Hamburg steak as requested. It probably won't take more than maybe 20 minutes. It's okay if we use that potato salad in your refrigerator as a side dish. Oh, we can use the tomato we bought too. That'd be good, right? She's making it sound like having me cook is fun. She's getting better at things like this. Looks like I might looks like I might be able to start relying on her more. Oh yeah, I've only got just gotten to the point where I'm okay with playing something else after Will. Okay. Yeah, no, play the demo. It's really good. Here, I finished washing the rice. We're going to put it in the rice cooker now. We make some instant miso soup while the rice finishes, finishes cooking, and we're done. We got the food in the living room and eat it while it's still hot. Thanks for food. It was yummy. There was a cooking show on TV a while ago. I think you could win for spice if you went on. Is a show like that? The last episode had one from Purple on it. They were really good at cooking. Purple. Oh, Purple's bandage got popular. And the idol Momo Kurusu. Cruise it. That was on the show. No. Who was the girl? Who was the idol from fucking Death Mark? It wasn't Momo. You don't know any of them? Nope, and I don't want to learn either. Wait a second, there's no TV in here. Hey, why don't you have one? Sensitive. I guess you can't buy one until you're until you grown up. Ah, uh, yeah, her name was I. You're more of a big person than me, but nice mom, you're still the kid. Oh, someone's at the door. Honest me? No, it's too early. Take a look through the peephole. Is it a guess? Not sure. No one's there. What's it goes off again? Did you say no one was there? What's going on? A ghost or something? <laughs> Let me guess and slaps a hand over her mouth. Um, big brother? Could you look outside real quick, please? I was joking! She isn't quite pleading, but I can tell she's a feeling uneasy. I think against this case, but I see nothing on the other side. Is this gonna be some sort of ghost where it's like, if you open the door, you're gonna fucking die? Just say no. That's usually what always, what always works. That was going on. Yeah, I think I need to document this. Never thought I'd see you look so surprised, because sworn you're the deadpan type. <laughs> Outgoing team. Hey, how's it going, best friend? That's how I that's how I talk to my best friend, by the way. 
I uh, come up to him and I say, Hey, what's up, best friend? Kent stares at a familiar face. I'm a nome, so it was you. Little shit rang me in the common hit before I came out. Is he a bit too old for Ding Dong Ditch? Huh? Seiji? It was out as from the kitchen window. So you- Oh, so you're here too, Amy. Sorry for starting you, I didn't expect you to be here. Wait, I meant it, Akira. Didn't that just send an icy chill down your spine? I'm gonna fucking deck your shit! Glare. Uh, don't give me such a scary look. It was just some harmless fun. Don't tell me you're the one who left that weird postcard too. Huh? Look at me, I have no idea what you're talking about. Then good. So why are you here? Well, it's about that matter, of course. I'm sure you don't want the kid to hear about it, so let's talk downstairs. Drugs? Are we drug dealers? Tell me, I'm gonna borrow your bro for a bit. Let me head downstairs. Oh, you're in your room then. I'll see you later. Nah, man, it's fun punching him. What happens when you punch him? I care, catch. He asks me a drink. Why did it sound like a fucking knife stabbed into me? You and your weird drinks. Never seen anything like it, yeah? I saw it at the community store, so I bought it. Take it, consider it an apology of sorts. Apology? Earlier, a, rooker, a rookie, Maruhashi, gave you some trouble, didn't he? Maruhashi? Oh, so, okay, I was, I was about to say, like, I'm a no mate. isn't that the name of the fucking crime family? Dirtbag in the jersey? That's right. He may not look at it, but he's one of our newbies. Word travels fast. We take pride in our reporting ethic, much more efficient than the others. He doesn't even call you brute, but it always entertains me. <laughs> That's so. I always thought him an idiot, but I never expected he'd pick a fight with you. Now that is a familiar face from, like, Deathmark. I make him formally apologize, in person. He's Yakuza, after all. We will make him set things right. Seiji Amanome. Young, young son of the current boss of the Amanome family. Based in Shinzo Ward. Now run by MoMA! No, this isn't a gun, it's a toy. He's not an official member yet since he's still in school, but he's still got in all influence. We're classmates, been hanging out with, around with each other since elementary school. But you're quite the gentleman, Akira. I've been like a girl arguing with a hoodlum. Marahashi says she was pretty cute, around the same age as us. Cut it out, Amanomi. I just got mixed up in some nonsense. Uh, I thought so. Trying to uphold boring things like humanitarian integrity isn't exactly your M.O. I thought the world was going to end or something. Oh god, that's a creepy look! Don't look at me like that! No! Stop! Don't you ever look at me like that again! Get to the point, where you? I'm leaving. Let me show you off my glare. Thank you! Okay, Jesus Christ, that was creepy. Jeez, no true chat for you, I suppose. There's a limit to how unsociable one can be. Alright, I want to talk to you about the UG match. UG, trying for an underground match. I'm gonna got me this part-time job during middle school. It's fighting the only thing I'm good at. You have to run a series of fight battles. You win, you get pro some prize money. A bunch of a, a bunch of different types enter. Even foreign boxing wrestlers from all over the country come. I know it's hard to believe, but worlds like this exist in the city's underbelly. What is it, H City? I'd say I'm surprised. Your message came out of nowhere. Are you serious about quitting? That's the plan. There's no one better than you in a UG match. Plus, the fans love you. Your own record's unbroken, and you fight with style. I'm the best. I'm the best of the best. I'm the best fighter ever. And I'm only 18. That goes wild over every match you enter. I only make a hefty profit in bets. And I'm fucking handsome. And I'm hot. But I don't care about women, because I don't want pussy. I'm too cool. I don't know where I'm going with this. You sure you don't want us to think this over? Give it up, it's not happening. I've saved enough to support myself for a while, so there's no reason for me to go back. Besides, I don't like being their entertainment. How very like you. Whew. Well, that's too bad, but I understand. I didn't promise you that you'd be able to quit whenever you wanted. Besides, I'm, I'm more than anyone else. No, no, you're not the type to listen only because others say so. Get back to me if you ever change your mind. Yeah, sure. 
You sure are a strange guy, you know? You wouldn't have to worry about money if you just let Miss Nasumi take care of you. Paths, I like being alone. Wow, what a waste. You want to switch places, I wouldn't mind being in the care of Miss Natsumi myself. Hey, that's my aunt you're talking about! Oh, speak of the devil. Hey, baby. <laughs> oh, it's the Kirin Seiji. If you're out here talking, was it for something important? Did I interrupt? Hey, mama. Oh, no, we've, we finished. We already finished our conversation, so you needn't be concerned. By the way, Miss Sumi, I must say you're looking as lovely as always. Stop looking at my aunt! He always a flatterer. I really do appreciate you getting along with Akira. Hope you'll continue to be around. Yes, of course! Miss Sumi, if you're ever in any trouble, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. For you, I would jump through fire. You really want for exaggerating, aren't you? This is how conversations between these two always go. I know she knows about his family, but she doesn't turn up her nose or run away. She got nervous steel. She has run a bar all on her own after all. Defo wants to date his aunt. Yeah, man, stop ogling my aunt. I see it's getting pretty late, so I believe I'll excuse myself today. You'd have to take care of Amy if you want to be with her. I got to see Mr. Simi's face. I have a feeling that I'll have a wonderful dream tonight. Have a great night. See you, Kira. With a wave of his hand, Amanomi disappears into the dark. I'm sorry I'm late. Surprisingly, after you left, the customers won't stop coming. I'm sure I could I could have closed up sooner, but I want to do all I can for the regulars to tell me how much the bar feels like home. Because he left me the bar after he passed away. Her husband! Anna Sumi's actually an author. Running the bar is more of a side hobby. She doesn't seem to care much about profit. Some days not a single customer comes, but she puts zero effort towards getting new ones. Yes, it's time to be getting home. Amy, your mom's here! There's a voice to call through the window. Welcome back, Mom. <laughs> Alright, don't you look sleepy. Come, come on, let's go home. Say goodnight to your big brother. Thanks, Akira. Night, night. Bye, you adorable little fur of cuteness. Fur of cuteness? Ball of cuteness. God damn it. I'm not on my pills, so I, I'm a bit wacky. The two of them hold hands as they make their way home. I do a quick clean of the living room, take a fast shower, and change for bed. That's such a shitty blanket, dude! How small are you? So another day passes. It's like, look at that fucking blanket, dude! What the fuck is this? I bet his feet get fucking cold. Is that a fucking box of tissues on the floor? Alright, so the month is... September... No, it's August. Let's see, what has he got in here? He's got... It's a pretty decent looking room. Trash can, phone, a bunch of fucking manga and books. Tissues for when he masturbates. And a tiny fucking blanket. And a very tiny pillow. Rarely does anything new happen. Days with little variation, boring and only broken up by inconsequential problems. I expect tomorrow and the day after will be no different. Well, time to get some sleep. My head hits the cheap pillow and my consciousness quickly drifts into darkness. Yes, uh, let's save her. <sighs> the end of normal. Wait, what? But the, the calendar said eight. Oh, Akira, perfect timing. 
Oh, she was getting me to the bar. I was just thinking I'd brew some coffee. Someone gifted me some really nice beans. Just wait a moment. Beans. Boom. She brings the coffee. I take a seat at the corner table. The place is empty as usual. You sure you're doing all right? Oh, it's perfect like this. Besides, the regulars like how, like how relaxing this place is. Here you go. Enjoy. Slightly places a cup on the table. The smell of the rose drifts toward me. I'm glad you came. This is my favorite bean. Drinking alone would, would only make me feel lonely. Amy's too young for coffee. Mom, well, I finished all my homework. Oh, big brother. Oni chan. And just enters from the door in the back and rushes over to, to me, grinning. Mom, why didn't you tell me he was here? But had you only pay attention to him and forget to work on your homework. Did you finish everything you need to do today? Any parts you didn't get? Um, just one. They never know out that seems right in desk to look over her homework. Amy likes to study and learn new things. She's the type that dives right into her into homework. Aunt that seems like teaching her too. Oh, now I get it. It's this. Oh shit! What I press? What I press? Ah, oh, got Evie. You're right. Well done. And just in time. You need to go to Akira's place now. Okay. Sorry, I took so long. Let's go home. That's right. One moment, Akira. You forgot this last time. It's my portable flashlight. I wa I'd wonder where it was. Guess I left it here. You let me borrow it when we were reorgan reorganizing the back room, remember? I forgot to give it back. Sorry about that. Thanks for taking care of Amy, like always. Amy and I step outside. Uh-oh. After leaving the station, we walk until we arrive at the underpass. The pass is shortcut straight back to my apartment. Huh? Amy slows to a halt. It's so dark here, I wonder why. Aren't there any lights on this path? Looks like reinforcement work on the end of pass. They probably cut some of the power for it. Oh. Are they going to go through here? Well, it's a shortcut. Aren't you scared of the dark? Not really. What if ghosts come out? No such thing. Well, maybe, but still... Oh, that's right. Mom gave you back your flashlight, so let's use that, okay? Oh, you're such a scaredy cat. Can't be my sister such a pussy. Better? Yeah, thanks. Oh, Kira, isn't that one of those things that takes pictures? And went to one of those ID photo booths that are all over the station. That wasn't here last time. He looks fun. I want to go see. It's not even that dark here. Working back, she's off and climbing to the booth. Man. Investigation mode. Begin investigating your current location by using the left stick. Move the flashlight to the area to be investigated, then press, and press the X button to look. Press the circle button to end the investigation. Use the directional buttons during an investigation to move from the current location. In the location where it's right, the flashlight turns into investigation eye. Try investigating the photo ID booth. Nah, this is very familiar. There it is! These marks make it look like something was torn off the posts. There's been a flyer or something on it. A small power flash, right? Handy revision so it can be used in long, long periods of time. What the fuck is that? An old time fire extinguisher. What if it even works? It's covered in dust. There's a wine glass in the poster, so I'm guessing the second floor is a bar. Better after. Amy jumps to the photo booth. Better go go after. I want a bit. Give me a moment. Jeez. Ah, uh, oh no. All right, all right, let's go. How's everyone in chat doing? It's going to operate photo ID booth, the newest model even. Hey, what are you doing? 
Look at this, if you sit on the seat, you can take pictures. I want to take one. What's with you all? What's with you all of a sudden? This isn't one of those arcade photo machines. Don't, don't treat me like a kid. Bitch! You're like 12. Maybe even less than that. Not playing. This is practice for becoming a grown-up. I'm not leaving until I take one. Sure sound like one right now. She's not kid seems to have pissed her off. She's not gonna give up giving on this. She's timid, but damn, cause she can't she be stubborn. This is getting to be a pain. Please, big brother! I even clean your bathtub today. Fine. So I'm not sorry, here, pop some coins in the pay slot. Think she's like eight? I guess, sure. Go by itself so you can wait outside. But don't go home without me, okay? So she's totally a kid. Instead of like halfway to not being a kid. I gotta turn the chair in. Good. Then, hmm, which button am I supposed to push? This one? Uh, Mikura, I need help. Hey, come on, make up your mind. Open the and enter. I just the chair and explain the whole button brush to take a photo for her. Hey, let's do it together. What are you saying? This is only for solo pictures. I know that, but I want to take it with you. It's okay, right? Please? But... Come on, hurry, it's about to take the picture. I'm no match for her. Anyone, me, zero. May as well play along. Yay, we did it! That's really fun, I always wanted to take pictures in one of these things. Thank you so much for doing this, big brother. I hope they turned out well. She finishes developing while she talks. When we take a look at the photos, it's gonna be something creepy. What, what? What's going on? Oh no! I hate photos. One of them is odd. Angie's face is completely messed up in it. No, it's why something bizarre is stuck to her face. His eyes everywhere on distorted parts. None of them even look like Amy's. They're eyes of a stranger. Kinda feels like he's trying to tell us something. Big brother, what is this? Machine's broken. Yeah, you're right, that makes sense. But the machine was not broken. Let's go home now. Yeah. Move. Use the direction buttons to move from one location to another. Either press the circle button or select to move while investigating to switch to standby mode. If anything bad happens to Amy, I'm gonna fucking flip. Video areas can be seen on a map in the upper left corner during standby mode. Press the circle button to display a larger view map. Press the up button on directional buttons to move into the underpass. I always like the ambiance in this in these games. The stores on the other side of the fence have been torn down due to seismic retrofit. The electric meters barely moving at all. Go make these levels. I doubt anyone's on the other side of the shutter. Oh. And it's not so she's looking ahead of us. The flowers are all over. I was talking about that. A ceramic pot, uh, uh, ceramic pots knocked down in the middle of the street. Withered flowers clog up the gutter on the far right. Wind must have blown them away. What is that? Flower offerings? There's a traffic accident here. She looks pretty bummed. Maybe she knew the victim in the accident. Big brother, I want to ask you a favor. Can you help me put the flowers back in the vase? Is that okay? You want to get the flowers in the gutter, right? If we're doing this, make it quick. Thanks, Akira. Dirty mailbox is full of dust. Manhole's a little rusty. It's a gutter that's really needing, that desperately needs a cleaning. Pick up the scattered flowers so I can put them back into the vase. Obtain withered flowers. Use items. 
Items can be used in certain spots during investigations. Press the sort the eh, square button. Last spot is selected to view your inventory. Select an item you wish to use and press the X button to use it on the selected spot. Try using the wither flowers you picked up on the flower vase on the uh, on the side of the road. You can view any of these instructions in the spirit file under tutorial. Press the triangle or open the bag with the square button to open the spirit file. Found the flowers, but I put them back in the vase. What the flowers? Look at the vase and put the wither flowers in it. Wither flowers, you. Thanks. This is where Yuri got in an accident. Who's Yuri? Yuri Takamura. She's a high schooler who lived in the same building as me. You know how mom always how mom's always busy, right? I just get in the way whenever she's got a book deadline coming up. Yuri'd come and play with me so she could work. Maybe I should ask more about it. What kind of accident? One month ago, she was hit by a car as she was walking home. The car was going really fast. I still don't know who did it. She never did anything bad. Maybe I should ask more about it. She's very sad. Maybe I should ask her more about it. He left the flowers. I don't know who's offering them. Maybe it was Karu. Who? Yuri's friend. Her best friend. I used to play with her a lot, too. I think I got it all. I think Amy was pretty close with this Yuri who died in the accident here. She never mentioned this before, as far as I know. Yeah, I just forgot when she told me. Here is the one who gave me these. Reaching up to the headphones around her neck. I used, these used to be hers. She told me she bought a new pair, so she gave me her old ones. I think it's because I told her I thought they were cute. I see. I, I never asked about the headphones before, but she never answered. I asked her about, about her... Ah! I've asked about her headphones before, but she never answered me. It had to have been right after Yuri died. Her mind was probably a mess back then. I feel Yuri with me whenever I wear them. Like she's cheering me up whenever I'm sad or lonely. It's my most favorite thing I own. You gotta take good care of them if they're that important. You'll cry if they get broken. Uh. Yeah, uh! And something Amy looks screwed up. I wonder if that's the power of the headphones. Oh, you know what? These flowers, they're almost dead. You think you'd like it if I offered some new flowers? Probably. Come on, let's keep going. Okay. Spitfire Yuri. Oh, great. Ronnie and Yuri died in a traffic accident. Acquaintances with Amy, Kaoru. Crane with Amy and Yuri. Takamura. This is going to be the first one we deal with. Spirit file. Spirit file summarizes all the info you've obtained on the spirit spirits as a series of notes. It can be accessed by pressing the square button while the bag is open. The bag menu becomes available when the triangle button is pressed in standby mode. Seven marked. You walk through the press. If we get closer to the computer store, sorry. Amy stops in her tracks. Oh, I know. I wonder if they sell flowers at convenience stores. I doubt it. Well, you never know. Let's ask someone who works there about it. She says I'm Steve, and I don't fight it when she pulls me into the store. It's a quick stand store, but there are only a few customers hanging around. N no sign of anyone who works here. Not too worried about security, I see. Let's see, flowers, flowers. Where do you think they'd be? I'm still pretty sure they aren't here. There aren't any here. Come on, you won't know until you look. Okay, now she's just digging in her heels. I'll just look fast. She'll go up when she figures it out for herself. Pressure is, is filled with seasonal limited edition drinking waters. Drink section next to next to our shelves with everyday necessities. Drink set up on a really obvious display. I wonder if it's a new product. New salt palmetto cider. Late at night, you often. Late at night, you often. What? There's no cashier at the register. Seems she's seems he's gone off somewhere. Check every aisle that could possibly have him. I figured as much. No flowers. I don't see them. Where could they be? And then door to the storage room opens and an employee emerges from the back. Um, excuse me. Do you sell flowers? Flowers? 
I'm sorry, I don't think we have those. Oh, okay. They said they don't sell them. That's why I told her, but at least she gets it now. We head back to the store's entrance. Oh, hey, aren't you Kijima? This fuck. I turned my head and spotted a familiar face. It's that dumbass from the Amanome family I saw yesterday, Maruhashi, I think. Sorry for not introducing myself. I'm Mitsuo Maruhashi. My deepest apologies back then. I had no idea you were closely acquainted with Mr. Seiji. I was about to cut off a finger to prove my sincerity, but... Mr. Seiji said that there was no point in offering a dirty finger, so he stopped me. Glad you're ready to dive full throttle into Yakuza life, but Amanome isn't a member yet. True, but he contributes a lot to the family already. It's a tough business. Those who collect money are amazing. Anyway, I never thought I'd run into you here. I come to the store a lot since the family's office is real close. Is that Momo on the cover? It looks her hat from where she'd been hiding behind me, seeing the magazine in Maruhashi's hand. What a smart little girl, Momo's featured in this week's Young Generation. Now he's curious, is featuring Momo Kurusi in some kind of flashy font. So what was the was the um, the idol group called Purple that I was in, or was it something else? No, it was something else. It was like love something. It's probably part different with her second album that's coming out next month. Oh, I heard about that. Love Hero, that's right. On TV2, the one where Mo does a cute dance. Yeah, that one. Huh, who'd have thought they'd click? Hold on, Akira, do you not know who Momo is? You've told me about her yesterday! Oh yeah, you don't have a TV at your place. No TV? I should have expected this of you, Kijima. You're the serious type. But not knowing who Momo is, it's like wasting half of your life. What is this fucking parallel with AI the Somnium Files? Where the Yakuza person and the little kid both love this idol. Next thing you know, they're actually all best friends. That's all life's worth? Momo Kurusu is a sensation. She's the most popular idol right now. She doesn't just seem to get a guest on talk shows. She's a great actress, too. Not ringing any bells. I might not have a TV, but it's not like I'm a mountain heroine or something. Oh, I'd have heard of her. She's that famous. Okay, maybe I exaggerated by saying she's the most popular. A rising star would be more accurate. As a Nicole idol, she's really unique. Me and my, my crew follow her. By crew, I'm guessing he means his idol-loving crew, not the Amanoe family. I hope. I think I just came to, came to the epiphany that I was actually referenced in one of the puzzles. You mean the game I or the character I? Momo knows a bunch of, about ghosts and scary stuff, hence the occult idol. Yep. She's all mysterious looking too. Sing is relieving, pal. Voila, Momo Kuruse. Or how she opens the magazine with a flourish. Here's a page to a glamour photo spread. A girl in a furry swimsuit is laying on a bright red sofa. Hmm, says here the photo shoot concept with mysterious doll residing in a mansion! Excuse me! Motherfucker. <laughs> I see you, game. I see you. I ain't blind. I said they got the idea from some Towns Urban Legend. I told you they reference Death Mark a lot. It's a perfect set for Momo, the occult idol. The adult makeup on her left arm and legs is so realistic. Is her, is her hair part of the costume? You really don't know anything about her, do you? Oh my god, unbelievable. I'm kidding, kidding. Please don't make such a scary face. Silver hair is Momo's symbol. She always has this hair color, even when she's on TV or in movies. Another iconic thing about Momo is her outfits. This outfit's an exception. She's always wearing, wearing frilly skir skirts. That, what they call them again? Gothic Lolita? It's starting to become a big fashion look these days. Girls are trying to dress, dress like Momo. 
Now that I think about it, the Akurese was also in Momo style fashion. Ah, he means that girl who got me caught up in her mess. Is she just like these two, a hardcore Momo Kurose fan? So what do you think, Kijima? Oh what? Momo, of course. Is she real cute? <laughs> Disgusting! Honestly, in my opinion, like I'm indifferent. She's she's fine, I guess. She's not exactly my type. Her hair's not short enough. <laughs> no response, huh? Since you're the serious type, you're probably not into this sort of thing. Huh? What are you two talking about? Uh, just some guy talk. By the way, kid, you see Momo's debut work. The whole rumor's out to school, right? Yeah, I saw it. Did you watch it too, mister? M mister? Well, yeah, I guess I'm pretty old from your perspective. One scene is my favorite. It's when Momo's a trans student and she's gonna go into the creepy old school. Oh, that one. The face she made when she was afraid. I really believed it was real. Right? Amy's usually a big scary cat, but she's having fun talking to Marahashi, and she's pretty, and he's pretty unsavory. The bond between fans, fan works, fans works is wonders, it seems. Momo's doing an outdoor concert soon in Shinza. So excited for, wait, is that, was that a real town name instead of just H City and T City? I'm so excited, I'm so excited for it already. Momo, person, so jealous you're going, mister. Mom says that's still that since I'm still in elementary school, I can't go to a concert. Oh yeah, I got t I got ticket tickets to the uh, Final Fantasy VII remake orchestral concert, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm sure to go in full detail about everything next time I see you. Okay, fans have to help each other out of times like this. Oh damn, I have to get back to the office. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. I don't know. Nice, nice. Nifty Pace Magazine leaves the store. That guy's so nice. I can't wait to hear about the concert from him. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Sorry. Oh, it's getting late. They didn't have flowers here, so we should head home soon. You start to hands and start the walk back to my apartment. Rabbit keeps running, chasing after the stars. It's happily belting songs for a while now. What are you singing? So a little song, Wonder Rabbits. I think you'd like it. Your singing is not exactly convincing me. I know, I figured you'd say that. So I secretly said it as your phone ringtone. Go on, listen to it. Well, hold up, when did you... See, isn't it a good song? Yeah, I bet she did it while I was helping at the bar the other day. Don't change your back, okay? I don't even know how, you, how to do it in the first place. One of the things I use are calls and messaging. Are you not good with machines and things? Knowing how to ride a motorcycle is all I need. Um, is it really? My god, he's so fucking cool! He even rides a motorcycle and doesn't use electronics all that much because he's cool we're here we settle in and I open up the refrigerator to get the ingredients for dinner it's just stir fried veggies but may as well put some effort into seasoning while I cook Amy cleans the bathtub as promised to finish eating we chill in the living room like yesterday what's up with her she's been really quiet since dinner I don't like her. She usually won't stop talking my ear up about anything and everything. Hey, big brother. I want to ask you a favor. Is that okay? He's very much so that minimalistic bas badass. Yeah, exactly. He even rides a motorcycle. He's so cool. I want to ask you a favor. Is that okay? What is it? I want to pick flowers at Yamato Shrine tomorrow. Yamato Shrine? I've heard of the place, so I've never been. It's not far from Kasoji Station. It's got a pretty big park with plants and trees. Yamato Park. Have I seen that place before? 
Yuri said lots of beautiful flowers bloom there. So I want to get some flowers from there and offer them to her. Really, like if you helped out, but do you mind? Sure! Thank you! I just know you'll be happy to. Let's go tomorrow. Oh, also, I'd like to invite Kyoru if that's okay. I'm sure she knows where the flowers are. Kyoru. Hey, I mentioned her at the underpass. Yuri Takamura's friend, I think. So, is it okay if I invite her? Whatever's fine. I already told her I'd go. I'll leave the rest up to her. Oh, someone's here. Is it safety again? I guess the people reveals. My hot aunt! Aunt not see me outside. I care, is Amy still up? Oh, it's mom! Oh, mom, is it okay if I go somewhere with the cure tomorrow? It's the place I really want to go. Sure, I'm fine with it, so long as you're going to be with him. But be sure to tell me where you're going and what you're doing later, okay? I will. Thanks, Mom. And we better be heading home. If you're going out tomorrow, you need to get to bed early. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, big brother. Oh, Nietzsche. Thanks again, Akira. I really appreciate you playing with Ami. She always looks like she's having a great time. I hope so. He, I, get already, I can tell already you'll be a great father. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I don't fuck bitches. I only fuck my motorcycle. I'm gonna let that ruminate while I go check it's check on my dog. Alright, I'm back. Aunt Nishi and Amy head home holding hands as always. Come in, Wolf! Wolf, come in! Come on up! Come on up, buddy! Up on the bed! Come on! Up here! Up here! Unless you want to get it. My dog's inside now. Wolf! 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 Where are you going? Okay, what button am I pressing? Oh, R2. Save and loading. It goes to bed. Save and loading can also be done in standby mode. In case of pressing the square button. You can load save data or return to the title screen during events by pressing the L2 button. Oh, I know. I need to make sure my dog isn't shitting in the living room. Oh!
Okay, I'm back. Long time for night. I thought I'm going up out again today. Open the fridge and look inside. Nothing I can eat without prepping here. I keep a few seasoning bottles in here. Uh, something smells. Isn't that like the shoebox or something? Open door and go inside. Hmm. Wonder what happens if I do that at certain parts in the game. I don't really feel like taking a shower right now. Nope, don't have any business here. Interesting that there are separate rooms for the toilet and the, and the shower. But I guess that's how it is sometimes, huh? It's Fight Club Weekly. I've already read this month's issue. This cell phone is pretty useless since I have a cell phone. July 29th. Summer vacation's only just started. You can have a lot more. Sexy, so I'm gonna recommend them. Recommend it to me. Open curtain, yes. There's nothing in particular. Hmm. I should have put my bed on the other side. Alright, turn in. I'm a night person, so this is kind of early for me. I feel like I wasted my day today. The summer vacation is nowhere near over. It's fine, the spare day for Amy. Next day, Amy and I head to the station. Lines me up with this Kaoru have pushed things back to almost the evening. Wonder if Kaoru was gonna be the girl we saw. At least it's summer and the sun's still high. I don't see her. You sure this is the meeting spot? It should be. He isn't really busy lately, so maybe she's running late. Busy, but it's summer break. Uh, yeah, she's, a. Uh, here's, um, special. And how exactly? Uh, that's a secret. She looks reluctant. Guess you can't say for some reason. Ohayou gozaimasu! Oh, it's just 100% wrong about the time. Calls out from behind us. Wait, this voice? Fucking called it! Oh, it's Kaoru! 
Sorry, I'm late, Amy. Oh? Guess I shift land on me. You're the one from before. You're... Pretty sure I'd never forget someone who stands out in clothing like that. I had a feeling after hearing Kichima, but... So, boy, you really are big. Are the big brother Amy always boasts about. Calling me surprised. Hey, what do you mean by boy? I'm older than you. That's not important right now. Just ignore me. Instead, she's staring at me curiously. It's still so hard to believe. Such a hard punch from that beanpole body. Are you sure you're human? What the? If I'm not human, what the hell do you think I am? Hmm, let's see. Maybe the last survivor of the human weapon project developed by the old army? Another fucking reference. Or even in Bottle Snowman, he managed to adapt to society. That'd be saying, I have to ask for an autograph. Sorry for not living up to expectations. Put the insides match the outside. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Ke Keoru Hazuki. I'm a second year at Seishin High School. These are actual town names! Seishin, that's that rich girl's school. Of course I've heard of it. The prestigious private high and junior high is not, fo not far from the high school I'm going I go to. Thanks again for the other day. Sorry for running away first. I just can't get tangled up with the police. You have something to hide or something? That's, um, you know... It'd just be a big hassle if they caught us. We were near downtown, it was night. They could have suspected us of, of a lot of things. Plus, I'm also dressed like this. So even you know you stand out in that. If you don't like drawing attention, why dress like that? It's my hobby, that's all. Have you heard of the idol Momo Kuruse? I'm a fan of hers. Fans that dress like her are called Momolers. Gothic style clothing is really beautiful, don't you think? He looks like you really like it. I mean, hey, it looks good on her. I like the hat. You wanna give it a try yourself? With your pretty face, you look great in girls' clothes. I love Kiori's clothing. I wanna dress like her someday. I'd be excited to see that. You're really cute, so I'm sure you'd put it off better than I ever could. You think so? I hope so. She looks embarrassed, but she seems pretty happy about being complimented. She's usually shy. I guess she's coming out of her shell. You're so adorable, Amy. Amy's blushing face brings a smile to Hazuki's. You two seem to get along pretty well. You've been hanging out together for quite a while now. I believe the clothing really is nice, though. Yeah, I mean, specifically gothic style would lead to clothing. Uh, just, you know, the, 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 uh, the source of Lolita is a bit problematic. But, I mean, obviously this doesn't look like a little girl. She's a grown woman. To a degree. She's second year, okay? First met Amy at Yuri's place. I think that was about two years ago. I think so, yeah. It was right before Akira became my big brother, so I was often by myself. Kiri played a lot with me back then. So did Yuri. Horse room's quiet and she reaches up to touch her headphones. But yeah, that gothic Lita style is always it always looks good. It's always a, ve a very good clothing style. Let's look for those flowers to give, you, give to Yuri. Let's do it! But Yamato Shrine might not be a good idea. Something strange happened there, so security is tight today. It might be hard to sneak in to get him. Huh? Sneak? I mean, um, you see. You shouldn't take flowers in the park without permission. They're there for everyone. I'll show you a wonderful flower shop to make up, make up for it, though. I always go there to get my flowers for Yuri. Come on, we'll look together. Hmm. Okay, let's see that. Yamato Shrine was the place where they cut off all those heads of the Buddhists, right? I'm gonna go with both of you. This game is a much slower burn than anything than Deathmark, because Deathmark immediately like gets into weird shit. I don't know if Lita originally from the same as Lolly, but I always like the ornate filliness of Lolita style. Well, there is a book called Lolita by um. Vladimir Nebikov or something. And it was about a rather pedophilic relationship, I'm pretty sure. Vladimir Nebikov. Hey, I got it. 
<laughs> I know my authors. Yeah, it's about a man who... Man, uh, obsessed with a 12-year-old girl. With whom he becomes sexually involved with after he becomes her stepfather. Yeah, the book is called Lolita. Yeah, that's what throws you right in deep. But this is like, like, we've had like one scary moment. Like one creepy thing. Sun of Flowers, Amy's eyes glow with happiness. She and Huzuki to pay for way too long and eventually a bunch get wrapped up for her. Yeah, you bought a lot of flowers. Thanks for coming with me, Carrie and Big Brother. No, it was no problem at all. I'm really glad you found some nice flowers. Oh, oh no, it's almost time. I need to get going. Huh? You're leaving already? I thought we'd go together off to the flowers. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to take along, but fortunately I'm busy. I have plans after this. Alright, it's almost time for the co- I mean, um... I really am sorry. We'll definitely hang out next time. See you later! One after these with Kaoru. Even though she was busy today, she still came. For Yuri. There'll be another time. No such thing as offering too many flowers. Oh, you're right. Hey, Kira, can you stop by Mom's bar before we offer these? I want to show her the flowers. Oh, welcome back. Aunt Natsumi turns to welcome us when she hears us open the door to Black Rabbit. And she's not the only one. Hi, Amy. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Oh, God, you fuck. This thing tells me you went on a date with your big brother today. Mom! Don't say date. It's embarrassing. Yeah, I was just teasing. Looks like you have found some nice flowers. Thanks for going with her, Akira. Not that the two of them are back. Can we take a short break? Oh, yeah. Ari, when are you going to get into Yakuza? <laughs> yes, of course. Why are you here, Amanome? Well, I was in the area, so I thought I'd stop by to see your flowers. Suji's teaching me how to use the computer. He's been a big help. I only really use it to write, so the internet makes no sense to me. Like, what is this, um, Big Chungus? Soon? So, yeah, better be soon! <laughs> By the way, Amy, is that beautiful big gay present for your mom? Oh, um, no. I got these for a friend. I'm hoping she'll like them. I see. For a friend, you must really like her. Especially since I'm not coming back to Astro Chain. You're just done? You're just done with Astro Chain? Yeah. Yeah, if you want something that's actually, like, very much story-based, you're gonna like the Yakuza games. I'm sure she'll love them. I hope so. Huh? The flowers, they're wilting. Already? I should have put right up and put them in the water for a bit. Dissolving some plant medicine in water will also keep them from withering. There's plant me plant medicine? Yeah, we want to come back to it? Wow. Even I wanted to come back to it because I thought the game was a little bit more fun than something I usually play. But you're just done. Yeah, dude, you're not gonna get... If you're expecting a good story... If you're expecting story at all, don't. It's The, the story is horrible. I want to use the medicine. Tell me how to do it, Mom. Alright, let's do it together. Come on! The two of them disappear into the back. Also, late professionals doesn't seem to have anything to do with that book. Yeah, but they had to have gotten the name from somewhere. So, how in the world did you end up tagging along to buy some flowers? It's really out of character for you. Is the heat making you sick? Shut it. I'm just killing time. <laughs> Tell me about anything that happened since last night. Really? How surprising. Just drop it. Is me is me the fire's really that shocking? There is that, but I was also talk more talking about the girl, Hazuki. She was the reason why Maruhashi ended up getting pummeled by you? How interesting that she turns out to be Amy's friend. A coincidence. Yeah, I man, I just don't want to. Like me like where you not wanting to deal with Nier was just me not wanting to deal with sadness, not a bad story. Yeah, no, Nier has a fantastic story, but it's just such a depressing story. <laughs> Yo man. Fuck Yoko Taro for making me sad. <laughs> Some would call it Faith. So, what do you think of her? Think of her? Cute! What's with the Kage Smirk? It's not like you. 
Oh, about that girl who got into that traffic accident, Yuri Takamura? That happened close to her family's office, so I remembered it what well, well, I believe the culprit hasn't been found yet. Yeah, it seems that way. Did you know about know that underpass is useful as an escape route? A surprising amount of traffic goes through there. That's another time someone's died, but there have been a, quite a few accidents in the past year. Bless Yoko Taro. Yes. Fuck Yoko Taro, but bless Yoko Taro. He is a, he is a blessed man. It's the only time someone's died, but there have been quite a few accidents. Yeah. I don't know if I told you this, but uh, after when I went to go to the, when I went to the near con orchestral concert uh, in January, he apparently he can't see in that mask because he was holding on to um, I don't want to say its name is Yosuke Saito, but the uh, one of the other producers of near he was holding on to his shoulders because he doesn't know where to go because because he can't see that fucking mask. Thinking back on what I saw at the underpass, it'd be tough to dodge a car on that narrow street. A lot of accidents in one year sound, sounds excessive. You could be right. Girls in class are calling it the cursed underpass. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, he's... And, uh, you saw that picture of him when he was, like, kind of shaking as he, as he signed some girl's leg. Girls in class are calling it the cursed underpass. I'm sure you're so unsociable that you haven't heard anything like that. Now you're getting me curious. I'll take a quick look. Start typing the laptop on the cat. Did not mean to load. Don't load. No. Start typing the laptop on the computer on the counter. A news article pops up right away. Ah, here we go. June thirtieth, a hit and run in Hanasaki City. The deceased is one Yuri Takamura, fifteen years old. I said article, but it's more of a blurb. That's pretty much all it says. What? That's it? There's got to be more. I guess there are a few more sites, but they all essentially say the same thing. Hmm, then how about... I took forums to discuss traffic, traffic accidents in the Shinzo Ward. Ah, I got something. I got to the screen, a pastel web page is displayed. A long profile is at the top, and under it it says Yuri. Hey, is this Yuri Sakamura's... What's like? Oh, she gets an online diary too, let's take a look. And the page changes, clusters of the text appear, divided by dates. Nothing exciting about the content, school, friends, parents, and that sort of stuff. I played with A, one of my neighbors today. My best friend K came along too. Amy and K, Amy and Kaoru. Let me say it's Amy and K is Kaoru. It definitely matches up with what we know. Look, and K show quite a bit on other days. She's really diligent about writing entries. Oh, this is the final entry. It's dated from a month ago, two days before Yuri Takamura died. Monday, June 28th, 1999. Whoa, we're in 1999? Ah, I guess like. I guess that makes sense. I mean, look at that fucking computer. Look at this phone. A, a had the headphones I gave her as a present, present on again today. She's always listening to Momo Cruz's songs. Today's song of choice was an enthusiastic rendition of Wander Rabbits. I wish Kate could have heard it. I'm sure she would have really enjoyed it. Oh, I found something weird in front of my house after school. It was a black postcard. There, there was a riddle on the back, but I didn't get it at all. I wonder if it was a silly prank. Oh, sounds like the flute is starting up again. It's kind of annoying they're practicing at night, but the melody is so beautiful. Hearing it calms my heart. I feel like I'll sleep well tonight. Good night! And that's where the diary ends. That wasn't exactly a page turner. I didn't expect it to be boring. Did you notice anything interesting, Akira? The black postcard. You're right, that is strange. Postcards are normally light colors as the zip code needs to be scanned through a machine. There was a card like that outside my place, too. It also had a riddle. Hmm. Your place is pretty close to Miss Natsumi's, yeah? Two incidents resemble each other, so it's likely the work of the same prankster. It has to be a kid. The riddle gives it away. Yeah, sure. Well, looks like I'm dying in, in today. Hmm, no matter how many times I read this, nothing appears to be criminal. Just what did you expect? Mention of a threatening letter? Maybe a suspicious person following her? Things like that make your imagination run wild. It'd be, it'd be so exciting if it turns out the accident was actually murder. The accident is technically a murder. A hit and run is a murder. That's murder. You're kind of messed up, you know? Don't give me that luck! Stop! God, that's so weird. It just looks so fucking freaky. It doesn't fit the, eye, the eyes in this game at all. Changes that's gripping with danger and intrigue as a great source of entertainment. 
If that wasn't true, then mystery novels wouldn't make so much money. And there it is. That handsome face hides how dark and twisted he actually is inside. He's crazy, okay? He's gotta creep you out. Yeah, he's hitting on my aunt! My hot aunt! Nobody does that, except me! Anyway, I better get going. You might not be able to tell, but I'm a busy guy! Fortunately, it doesn't seem like that's not seeing me pay attention to me anymore today. So that's why you're here. Think what you want. Give me my regards to those two. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, try this drink out. Stop throwing a knife into my stomach! Dirty and soda, huh? Let me know what you think of it next time. Later! And he's gone. Amy and Aunt Natsumi's cheerful voices drift over from the kitchen. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. That fucking clock noise just gave me a fucking heart attack. It's like, oh no! We are, we're only 30 minutes from it! <laughs> I have time to kill for the bar open, so I, so I start cleaning up. Before I know it, the bar is open with no customers in sight. With no reason to come out. I'm assuming Amy are still in the back. Management is seriously lax here. Yeah, that was like a PTSD flashback, man. <laughs> I started getting fucking scared. <laughs> May as well watch TV while I wait. Huh, it's a show on that. I'll show that I know everyone's talking about, Momo Crusade. And so, Momo, how are you feeling about your great Necromantic Night mini concert you're holding next week? Google, well, she has the exact same face as Kaoru. That's just Kaoru. Man, it's gonna be not at all a surprise once she, once she's like, ah, I'm actually killing. Oh no, oh no. Well, it's rather small, but I'm so anxious as this will be my first outdoor concert ever. However, I do plan to sing my absolute best, so my voice reached both heaven and hell. It's a little early for Obon, but I hope that many ghosts will attend. The silver-haired girl in gothic ladies' dress is poison calm. I recognize her from that glamo. Glamour photo spread this I saw. My great necromantic night mini concert will be held at Yawata Shrine in Shinza Ward. I do hope that my living guests as well as the deceased will enjoy it. What a fucking nerd. Well, she didn't fit the occult idol image. And Amy's a big fan. She may not be a bad influence on her. No, that's fucking Kiori! How can you not fucking see that? Then he finally emerged from the kitchen. Thanks for waiting, Akira. Amy, are you glad the flowers are better now? Yeah, I'm sure she will be happy too. A wide smile splits her face. The petal I can see in the blo bouquet looks more perked up than, than before. Onita. Let's go, Onicha! Everyone's blind! I thought my character was smart and cool and had a motorcycle and a big dick, but no, I guess not. Tiny penis. I'm just me ways as Amy and I head out. The sun's set by the time we, we step outside Black Rabbit. Come, let's hurry! Yuri's waiting for us. Hey, no need to rush. I'm gonna go, okay? Don't run off! What the fuck? It runs off in the distance of the underpass. I guess the kid's really eager. Not like she's going anywhere. My skin tingles when I step into the underpass. What's this feeling? It's like a dark gaze is staring at me from the shadows. It's overwhelming. What's wrong? It's nothing. I ever off, but something is definitely not right. I don't like this. Every sense is blowing a warning. So far, Yuri has been updated. Where has she's been bothering Keiru Hazuki? Uh, Hazuki, friends with Amy. Flute sounds, riddle, and black postcard were found outside Hanasaki apartments. Nothing seems to be different. Make our way over to the base. I'm sorry I made you wait, Yuri. I brought some flowers for you. He's having a casual conversation at, as if Yuri is right there here with us. I wanted my big brother and Kara to pick out all kinds of flowers. Isn't it pretty? And it smells really nice. I hope you like it too, Yuri. Offer flowers and let's go. It's getting late. 
Okay. I wish the face. I wish they didn't pick that face for the main character in his text box. Cause it just looks like he's pissed off about everything. Finish place is okay next to the vase. She must feel bad about removing the flowers that were already offered. Since I say Amy as she kneels and prays, I say next to Amy as she kneels and prays. May as well send a few prayers myself. Uh, usually the bustle of the city can be heard here, but it's quiet and strangely muffled, like I lost my hearing. This isn't normal. I strain my ears if I try to hear something. Just then. Hmm? Did you say something? Amy turns and look up, looks up at me. I didn't say anything. Huh, then what was that just now? Okay then. Amy. Out of the dark came an unclear voice. I squint in the direction it's coming from. Blurry figure stands there. Oh god! It's a ghost! They're just having a static expression for some characters can work against them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> What's... I'm playing on default. Why? What did you play on? What actually happens? Or else? Oh shit! Default isn't scary whatsoever. Oh? Should I restart? Should I play on the scariest mode? Can I actually change it? I don't think I can. Right, engine revs and van comes barreling down the road directly toward toward us, never slowing. I think you can change it in game, but I do recommend upping it. Where do I change it? Like I, I don't see any any way to change it. Amy, run! Why is it chasing us? Just run, we'll be safe at the station! I take behind me as I run. Archie goes bearing straight for us. Is he insane? Is he seriously coming after us? I'm getting tired. Keep going, we're almost there. At this pace, we reach the station plaza soon. That's how it should work, but... Just go out to the side! They can't hit you if you're, like, right there. Maybe you can pause? I don't think so, no. Okay. I don't believe this! There's some waivers at the site in front of me. The f it's a flower vase in the bouquet Amy offered earlier. Huh? Well, why are we back here again? Let's get out of here, Amy! I've been running forever? Feels like it. But it doesn't look like we're getting out of this underpass anytime soon. Damn it, what the hell's going on? My voice echoes off the concrete with no reply. Ah! Let's shake Amy falls to the ground. She won't make it much longer. Amy! No wait, calm down. Just never see a boiling in my veins. When I'm able to step I'm able to step out and observe the situation calmly. It shows a lot like when I'm fighting. Going back is out of the question. The van will get us get both of us. Take your breath and estimate how far off the headlights are. Maybe for the centimeters. I only have a few seconds if I go if I go up there, it'll catch us. We can ensure Amy's safety. Right here, right now. Yes, think, think. This is how I've kept winning so far. Alright boys! Survival escape! Scene 1! I think, how can I help Amy escape from this? When assuming natural energy threatens your life, survival escape will be triggered. If I figure out the correct combination of items and spots to use them, a wrong choice will cost you your life and it will instantly be game over. Press circle while an item is selected to choose a different spot. Does this, does this turn into a different ending? Do I actually have to use the right items? Or is it is it rather straightforward now? I like the music a lot. Uh, it's more straightforward, but you still need certain items. Shit.
Throw something, or maybe alert the driver. If I had some kind of weapon, I could break the windshield and kill the idiot driver. Flashlight! Throw the flashlight! I can't use flashlight. What do you mean you can't use flashlight? That's a gun too, I could open and escape underground, but it's going too fast, I'd never make it. The store storage, the shutter's damaged. Maybe I could break through it with something. No, wait! This this one you're fine on or you should Oh you should be at least. I can't use flashlight. What do you mean you can't use flashlight? There's a space between the wall and the fence. Maybe I can skate that way. And if I help her, Amy can go this way too. Oh to the other side! Amy! Pull me up and touch her over to the fence. Climb! Okay! I'll force her up under my shoulders and together manage to get to the other, the other side. Oh god. I'm half eliminated. Quickly check behind me. The van is almost upon me. Survival Escape Scene 2. I have no time. Where should I go? I can't. Yeah, I can't. Mm. I don't know where I can run away between the wall and the fence. Should I escape this way? Jump the fence! That's time I'll take my chances. Ah! The roar I jump and cling onto the fence, climbing over it as fast as I can. That's how we me to do that. The van plunges right into the fence. In my last ditch effort to dodge during my final one, I see no one's in the no one is no one in the driver's seat. That's not possible. Impact. Then all I see is darkness. Oh, I die. Guess I'm not fine. Try again. How do I skip through this? So you get her on the other side, she's safe. Maybe like duck under? Maybe? Need a hint? Yeah. yeah. The pipes, I can survive this if I escape up there. But how am I supposed to jump all the way up there? Really? There's this leverage to jump up. I'm not positive I can reach it. The footing will be unstable without one slip and I'm dead. On the fence and jump. So I'm gonna take my chances. She finally is as if struck as I do, so my timing is thrown off. Damn reach! Paint from the flakes off my fingers that definitely streets for a butt. I can't get a good grip and crash to the ground, staying into the wall.
How the fuck do you skip through these? Alright, so that's another game over. Thank you, game. Thank you, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remind. Ah, that's how you skip. L1. Let me see if I get there, but if we found one, but Emma can't make it, that game won't work. We might be able to crawl through here, but if she gets stuck somehow, it's over. This is, has to be the last resort. Have her crawl through. Amy! Oh boy, Amy, now her over to the fence. Crawl! Okay! I have half shoving her through the other side of the fence. With life down if I destroy it? But no, there's no point in doing that. Well, the game's not giving me so that many options now. If I jump the fence, I die. If I jump up the fence and grab the pipe, I die. Can't kill the driver because it would still kill me. Can't destroy the shutter. Oh, hey, look, a drain. Can't hide in the gutters. Don't anything inside. Is that a cr Really?! It's a fucking crowbar?! Well, now I can't select the shutter, so... Fuck me, I guess? I guess I'm dead. Because I, I can't choose the shutter. Did the game just fucking glitch? I hit for what? It's not the, I'm supposed to use it on there, aren't I? Oh. Okay, this might be a very dumb idea. No. Wait. What do you mean your fingers? Use the crowbar to hook on! There you go. Let's get her over the top. Amy? Okay then. If I can... Grab this. Grab the crowbar. Okay. Then I'm gonna throw all my weight into it to force the shutter open. Amy, get in! Okay, hurry! 
Ran the crowbar in the sh- What? But it's way too small for me to squeeze through. I gotta think of another way. There. Got it. Man tips after collides with the wall and falls into the side, scattering metal and glass all over like a sprinkler. Survival. Drop back to the ground, the impact causing the sweat covering my face to drip onto the asphalt. Ah, was too close. Oh yeah, hey, Amy, you're right. Not Amy. She scuttles out from under the shadow door. She looks terrified. Oh, okay, are you okay? Yeah, that was close. Let's get out of here. I'm in her arm. I hustle her away from the scene of the accident. Um, I only halts in the tracks. Don't we need to call the police or the hospital? The bouquet's gone. Jeff might be hurt. Just like her to be rude over the person who tried to kill us. I saw a large vehicle crash into the wall and the thing's completely crushed now. Jeff and that would have no chance, but maybe if someone had been in there. What, what do you mean? That van. There was no one in it. I saw the driver's seat for a split second while I was hanging, on, hanging from the pipes, and it was definitely empty. And how is it moving? Dan, if I know. Um, do you remember what happened before the band came? You saw the gr that girl in the school uniform, right? Maybe that was Yuri? She's saying, I'll kill you. That van. What if Yuri... So what are you saying? The ghost of Yuri Takamura tried to kill us with that van? That's ridiculous! The whole thing made more sense if it was just some dumb, malicious prank. Fix the gas pedal and the vehicle basically drives itself. No human driver needed. But... Amy is right. I did see a figure that looked like a schoolgirl. Was that really a ghost? Oh! The flowers! Okay, Amy I've had offered is torn to shreds. The vase tipped over. The van tires must have run it over. I couldn't. I didn't get to offer the flowers. I came here for Yuri. But she said, I'll kill you. I don't understand. Hey, she's barely holding back tears. Hey, Yagera. Do you think Yuri hates me now? No way. Yeah, you're right. It must be just the evil <laughs> ghost. Ow! You drop some grabs your leg. Looks like your knee is scraped, it's bleeding. Too many scary things in a row, guess you didn't notice. Can you walk? What if it's the death mark? Yeah. Where's so wobbly, I'm pretty sure she's not fine at all. Alright, come on, I'll carry you, get on. You don't mind? You're, you're walking really slow would be, be more of a pain. Thank you. What a good brother! Turn around and crouch down. I can feel Amy's arms nervously wrapped, wrapping around my neck. She's shaking against my back as I stand. Okay, it's her and go home. I'm gonna run, so hold on tight. Okay, I will. I keep to the empty back streets, making my way home with Amy secure against my back. There's a tiny my van with no driver. I know what I saw, no mistake. Van, you're his garage to a colt. So, alright, did I pick the right amount of things? Did I do good? Yeah. 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 Which one place I'll let Amy down? This is the easiest one. 
and I died multiple times to it, so that tells you how good things are gonna go. Go wash your rune, I'll look for first aid supplies. You can handle the hot water, right? You're really dependable, you know that? I'm really glad I get to be your little sister. Just hurry and go wash your leg. Okay. She goes into the bathroom. While she's doing that, I find my first aid kit. Where'd I put that damn thing? Amy! We went to the bathroom, but it's empty. Amy? No one answers, of course. Did I do- did I fuck it up? Was this supposed to happen? Fuck! Nothing's small with no windows. There's no place to hide in here. You know, breathe. What just happened? So I'm panicked down. I have to figure out what's going on. And now I watched Amy go into the bathroom. Now nah, you didn't fuck up? You definitely came from here. Why isn't she here? It makes no sense. I was something hard with my foot. I looked down. Oh no. Come on, man. Except for we're on the floor. Something on. Because I smell some kind of dark red stain on the side. Is that blood? It's completely dry to the touch. It had to have been on here for several hours. Why is it on the headphones? Amy, bring some flower. Well, 18. The hell, what was that? For a second, I thought I heard a, I heard a hoarse voice. Saw, saw something. Was that a mirror? There was something reflected in it. It's gotta be me imagining some things, right? This is my problem, but I don't see Amy hiding in any of the corners. Door's still locked. Her shoes are, are even still here. She's not the type to sneak out while I'm not looking either. Amy's disappeared. Don't tell me she's been spirited away. Spirited away. Ridiculous, but that's all I can think of. That's the only way I can describe this insane situation. What the hell should I do? I gotta call the cops. No, wait. Aunt Natsumi needs to know first. The same melody floats into through the window. Oh, it's the fucking flute! Is that a flute? Wait, in Yuri Takamura's diary, she says she found a blast black postcard before she died in that traffic accident. She also heard the sound of a flute at night. A black postcard and a flute. Yuri's death and Amy's disappearance. No way this is a coincidence. Somebody screwing with me. Body moves on instinct. I pulled outside, chasing the sound of the flute. I run, following the sounds. The night is so hot out that I'm drenched in sweat almost immediately. Sound of the flute guides my steps. I mindlessly run. I have no clue where I'm at or what direction I'm heading toward. I don't know where the sound of the flute stops. Anton realizes where I am. Photo booth at the underpass. It looks the same as before. But the heavy air surrounding me is completely different. Man, it's so thick I can barely breathe. Strong gusts of wind blows through the underpass. It's the hottest part of summer, but the air hating me is eerily cold and slightly damp. That's unsettling. I feel goosebumps pop all pop out all over. This feels familiar. I thought when I when I had that black postcard. <laughs> this is John's a young girl looking down at me from the stairs by the road. Her white hair is like snow, and the high high quality traditional clothing make for a strange picture. She completely clashes with her urban background or her urban surroundings. Hey, wanna play with Kakuya? Or is this childlike and innocent? Everything is on her face, from her expression to her mouth, is frozen in place. It's like I'm looking at a doll. Who the hell are you? 
Whenever it's I can't seem to get any air. My voice won't work how I want. I have to force out each I have to force each word out between my lips. Your name is Kakuya? No, that's wrong. Ka ku ya. It's like she can't quite say it for some reason. Wait, is she she's trying to say Kaguya? Princess Kaguya was part of that riddle on the black postcard, but Hey, let's play. If you don't play with me, you will disappear. Just like Yuri. Did you kill Yuri Takamura? Kakuya wants to play with Amy, so Kira had, had Yuri help tonight. <laughs> so it really was Yuri then. Well, if I know how, but this girl, this girl controlled Yuri and she tried to kill me and Amy with that van. Little brats fucking with me. Those cards, the flute, the empty van, Amy missing. It's all this girl's fault. Now I'm pissed. I grab my teeth and near my eyes. Fist clench, I move toward her. Gah! My body refuses to move like I'm paralyzed. Strange sensation engulfs my limbs as if someone else is taking control. Amy disappeared too. Kaguya will play with you next. Let's play the Urashima woman game. Urashima woman? Look out for the Urashima woman. If you if you don't play with Kakuya, you will disappear too. Amy will never come back. Damn you! Don't play with me! <coughs> Shrink up my invisible chains, I channel all my strength to my legs. I'll kill you! In five minutes, I can make it in one leap. There's no way she can dodge. She's, those clothes weigh her down. One strike's all I need. What? As I jump toward her, Kakuya disappears. I stand there, stunned. I can only blink at the spot where Kakuya had been. Just now. Did that really happen? Are you serious? I feel like I hallucinated the whole thing. A strange girl spying nonsense. It's all so surreal. But I can still hear the echo of the flute in my ears even now. Was that really real? Aunt Asumi's calling. Here, where are you right now? I came in to pick Amy up, but the door was left open. I got worried. Is Amy with you? I don't know how to answer that, or how do I even explain. She needs to know, but it, but it feels cool to tell her. I take a deep breath. I lay it out in a huge whoosh and still have to tell her the great situation. Uh, Aunt Nasumi, stay calm and listen. You see... My encounter with the enigmatic Kakuya. From that moment, I, I was never to see the boring days I'd gotten comfortable with again. All on that day, at the end of July, 1999, the NG days began for me. Huh, I wonder, does this happen before or after Death Mark? When, when, does, when does Death Mark happen? The mm days began for me. After? The end of normal, Finn. Yeah, I want to save. Um, I'm wondering if I should stop here and go play some Kingdom Hearts for you guys. I'm going to take a little bit of a break between between the two games, but... Would you guys want to watch me play Continue Birth by Sleep? Because I've been wanting to continue that for a while. Or I could just continue playing this. Look on the other way. Mm -hmm. Well, I, th I think this is a good place to stop. And I, I fear that the, the next chapter may take too long. All right, so we're gonna continue more Birth by Sleep.
They're not really long at all? How long do they usually take? Like an hour or two is long for me. Also, how the fuck do I fucking change the scale level? Like, uh, my, my jaw is hurting after reading so much. Mayhap from the title screen, mayhaps. Nope. Perhaps in an investigation. Perhaps in investigation mode. We have... Do we have these already? Oh, it's just all the ones that we get. Oh, could I have gotten a, a different one? Huh. Sound. Oh, wow, they just give you the entire fucking soundtrack. Alright, well, remind me next time to turn up my, my scary level, because, yeah, no, I want this game to be scary. It's a scary game! Anyway... As for now, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, and then when I come back, um, we'll play some we'll play some more Birth by Sleep.